Thanks to the Bendix Ultimate four-wheel drive brake drum kit's direct bolt-on design, fitment is a relatively simple exercise. The specifics may differ from vehicle to vehicle, so check the repair manual before diving in, but the basic procedure shouldn't differ too much across most cars and four-wheel drives. The upgrade should only be performed by a qualified automotive technician. With the vehicle in the air and the rear wheels off, disengage the handbrake and the rear brake drums. Depending on your vehicle's setup, you'll either need to remove a retaining clip or undo some retaining screws. You may also need to whack it a few times to release it from the hub. Once the drum has been removed, depress the springs and twist the retaining clips to release the shoes from the backing plate. Pop the springs off the shoes and separate them from the hub. Peel back the sealing boot on the wheel cylinder and check for any brake fluid leakage. If there is any present, the cylinder will need to be replaced and the brake system bled afterwards. Before we start to piece it all back together, remove any corrosion from the hub with a wire brush and give the backing plate a good clean with your Bendix cleaner. Because the Bendix Ultimate 4-Wheel Drive Brake Drum Kit is a direct bolt-on replacement, fitting it up is a simple reversal of the removal process. Once the new high-friction shoes have been fitted up, give the high-carbon metallurgy brake drum a good clean and refit it to the hub. Now it's time to adjust the drum brakes. Use the adjuster at the top of the drum assembly to wind out the brake shoes and attempt to refit the drum. If the drum won't fit over the shoes, you've adjusted too far. If the drum fits and you don't feel any drag between the drum and shoe, you'll need to adjust some more. The final adjustment can be done through the back of the drum backing plate. Remove the access boot and use a small flat blade screwdriver to adjust in the final drag. Next up, inspect the handbrake and make sure it's within specification. Further adjustment may be needed. Once you've repeated the process for the other side, make sure the fluid in the master cylinder is at the correct level and the cap is tight. Refit the wheels and torque the nuts to spec. Then give the pedal a few test pumps to make sure the shoes are against the drum face. Then all that's left is a road test to make sure everything is operating as it should. And there you have it, a simple straightforward upgrade that works to complement the Bendix Ultimate 4-Wheel Drive Brake Upgrade Kit perfectly. Visit bendix.com.au for more info. Bendix. Put your foot down with confidence.